Hello, and welcome back to the dining room yet again. Again, not for cameras, but for camera accessories. I don't know if you remember, but I, every time I promise you, like I said, I'll do a tripod and other accessories video, or microphones and other accessories. Well, if you notice, there were never any other accessories. The microphone video ended up being almost half an hour just being about the two microphones. The tripod video turned out being almost half an hour because there were, ended up being three tripods. See, I, re I was originally just gonna do the one, but I figured I'd... So here are all the accessories that didn't make it into those previous videos that they were promised in. But there's also one really cool new thing that was not mentioned before. And I'll get to that last. So the first thing, and this is like not a lot, but it's uh, KNF, which as you recall, is the brand of tripod that I was so enamored with in, in the tripod video. So anyway, this is an ND filter. This is for filtering out br you know, bright daylight. So it's a good thing to have. And they're also, it's also the, the weird 41.5 millimeter, which which fits on the inside of the kit lens for the A7C and also the ZV-E10. So, it, again, see, this is the advantage that I mentioned of having multiple cameras with the same kind of lens system. So here, this filter will work on two. And the macro lens that I have from that got, came with one of the cameras from Vivitar, it works on both of these cameras, the ZV, the, the A1, the A7C and the ZV-E10. And it comes with a little cleaning cloth. Okay, not so exciting. Now this, this is a small rig product, but if you're familiar with small rig, you think, oh, it's a little cage or something for the camera. No, I found, I was looking at small rig things and I found this on Amazon. And I said, well, I have to have one of these because this list looks amazing. So, okay, it comes in this cute little case. And what's in here is another little case because you can't have too many cases. And then you open this, which apparently is not as easy as it looks either. And it's this amazing little tool. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife for working on camera gear. Because see, you have a hex head and a bigger hex head, and that's a Phillips head screwdriver. Wait, there's another one here. Oh, and a flat chisel, I don't know, screwdriver. And then on the other side, we have bigger, more hex heads. So it's one, two, three, four, five sizes of hex head and a Phillips head. And then I guess this flat thing you could, well, it's not really a screwdriver, but I guess you could use this one. But anyway, it's a handy dandy little tool, which it's always good to have cool little tools. And this was, well, I don't remember how much it was, but the price will be in the description down below. It was not expensive. It certainly, it seemed like a deal to me. So I bought one. So that's another accessory that I have purchased. So that is the small rig tool. Again, the description will be down below. Now, I believe I mentioned when I did the A7C video that I would be buying another, I, I bought, I, I got a kit that had one extra battery and charger in it. Well, here I got another set, two, this time two, batteries and a charger. So you can see that it has the USB. It actually looks like it has several there. We have a USB, regular USB, and a USB-C, and then it looks like a micro USB. Well, anyway, so basically any kind of cable you have will work with it, which is good because, oh wait, no, it comes with a cable. Never mind, never mind. The cable it comes with is the mini or, or micro. I can never remember. Well, here, look. Is that mini or micro? It's a USB-A. So it comes with, so you can plug this in here. 
and it will charge two of these batteries. So now the, the, the faux NPVZ100s, remember they have the over two hour capacity and this little case, and it's kind of a little carrying case for them too. So I can, I now have four batteries for the A7C. So I can go for four, six, eight hours. Oh, it even has little charging lights on here. Okay, there we go. It has no documentation in the box, but written right here on the outside of the thing, it's not just a charger, it's also a power bank. So you can use it, you, you can use this cable to charge it, or you can use it and use these other cables, these other to charge other things. And see, it has the, 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 the what made, what tipped me off to this, were these indicator lights. So it'll show you if it's charging or if it's being discharged and charging something else. So, oh, and it says SD card and battery storage, because if you notice, so apparently you flick up under here, see, and then these, you can slide SD cards down in here and then close it back down. So you can have two SD, full size, you know, regular size SD cards, not the micro. Two full size SD cards and two, when, of course, those are the size SD cards that the A7C takes. So this is not a bad little box. And so I've got two extra batteries. It also will work as a power bank and it'll store two additional SD cards. So that was pretty nifty again. And I'm, I don't remember the price. I bought it quite a while ago. Remember, I've been promising to show you this in like three videos, four videos. The price will be down below. Oh, and probably because of, you know, how I am when I edit, I'll have it next to my head somewhere. Okay, well, that was all the appetizers. Those were the appetizers. The main course is one of the reasons you buy a camera with an interchangeable lens is so you can interchange the lenses. And while I got the kit lens with the A7C and I got the kit lens with the ZV-E10, well, one, the kit lens for the ZV-E10 is a APS-C lens. Uh, uh, and this is a, this kit lens here on the A7C is a full frame lens. Well, I got another full frame lens. If you recall, back when I did the uh, gimbal video, I was a little disappointed in how big my head was. I mean, but when you're holding the gimbal with this kit lens, my, actually it wasn't even this lens, it was that lens, which, well, with these kit lenses, my head was too big. This is the 20 millimeter F 1.8 lens full frame lens for the A7C and other full frame cameras. You can, you can also use it on those, on the APS-C cameras, but it'll be a little weird, but it works. So I'm pretty excited. So what's in the bag, what's in the box is this bag. And of course, oh, Sony loves all the little booklets. So you get this lovely carrying bag. And in the lovely carrying bag, well, there are multiple things. There's another one. Okay, it feels like there's something else down here, but what it is, is it's a padded bottom, fairly thick. About, feels like about half an inch thick of padding so that when you drop your lens in, put your lens in this way. So the padding there, because this is the more delicate end of the lens. Now, again, this is not a 41 or 40.3 millimeter open. This is a 73 millimeter. So now I have to go buy another ND filter once I figure out what ND filters are for. But it's got a lens cover. It's a G lens, which is the, the higher end. So yes, this was expensive. This is, this is almost $900 for this lens. And then there's the end that attaches to the camera. I'll be putting it on the camera. I will, one of the features it has a little click on off button. So that's for the, for the F stops. When you add on click, 
I don't know. You probably can't hear that. But you can feel it. There's a click, 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 click. It clicks and stops. Or turn that off and it just turns freely. So if, if you're, you know, professional photographers, which, where, so the f-stop is really important. You put it on 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 the click and then you can turn it to exactly the f-stop you want. So if you want 5.6, boom, I'm exactly on 5.6, which again, when you're doing photography, that could be important. When you're doing video, however, it's much more likely that you'll just want to move between and, and sometimes on the fly, so you don't want it clicking. And then of course, this is the focus ring here. But again, there's another little button over here, autofocus, manual focus. I, of course, since I'm be shooting video, will almost always be in autofocus because that's just the best way to shoot video. And again, this is a very good lens for autofocus. It's got really good fast motors, so keep it in focus. And again, you know, with the A7C and the eye tracking and everything, you get really good focus. Let me put it on the A7C. So right now, the A7C is across the table from me. So my hand is still about, looks like about a foot from the lens. So, cause there's the whole table width here. So my, my arm is about a foot from the lens and you can see what, 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 what do you get over here? And over here, you can see the frame. So I have, I have this entire, almost this entire chair is in frame. And on this side, we go to about here. Now, let me switch the lens. This is the 20 millimeter focal length f1.8 lens. And look at the difference. Now, remember in, on, the, on the kit lens, uh, we stopped about here and now we continue on over here on this side what we stopped about here thereabouts now we go so we have a much wider angle now in future when i'm doing this sitting at this table i will probably continue to use the kit lens because i don't need this kind of wide angle view from across the table but when I'm vlogging, when I'm holding this, this camera near my hand, so it's like half the distance. Because right now, right, my fist is half the distance between me and the camera. So when it's half the distance and I'm holding it, well then the wide angle will pull in here. But remember, when I used the gimbal, it was way in here. So I'm really looking forward to using this lens and I, I may now I may actually do some vlogging. It is a little scarier to talk to, however, because as you see this lens, I'm looking into this little tiny hole, right? 40.3 millimeters. This lens has a 70 millimeter opening. So I'm looking into this big round piece of glass. It kind of looks like if you ever saw the movie 2001, it looks kind of like Hal's eye, but without the little red dot in the middle. But it's the same, you know, it's a, anyway. So it's a little more intimidating. But I'm liking the way it looks from here. Now I haven't, you know, seen it when I, when I play this back, I'll see what it really looks like. But just on the little viewfinder, on the flip out screen, it's it's looking pretty good. I love, I love the, the width. I mean, I, I love the wide angle. So this is my, going to be my vlogging lens. In fact, the a7C will be my vlogging camera, remember, because it, I have the, uh, the shotgun mic, the, the ECM B1M. Hey, I remembered that I talked about in the other video, in the microphone video. It'll be linked below. But that, that sits on top of that. And then with this lens and then sitting on the gimbal, I think I'll have a pretty good vlogging situ uh, situation. So I will be trying that out before too long. So that's really all I had to show you. I, I had I had the the extra the extra batteries and 
charger and power bank and SD card storage. Again, this will be down below. And I have the small rig tool that I bought. And then I have the ND filter, the KNF ND filter for this lens and the kit lens on the ZVE10. And those were the accessories I wanted to show you today. But the main thing I wanted to show you was this, this, this lens. What do you say we go for a little vlog walk? But before we do that, I'm going to turn on the light because I know as I, as I walk through the kitchen, I do not have a lot of light. So here we go on a vlog walk with the new 20 millimeter f1.8 lens wide angle. And you can see I have my arm very well bent so that my, my elbow is very close to my midriff. And you will see that my head is not gigantic in the frame like it was before. Which, by the way, means I could probably use this lens with Catalyst Brows, which does like a 10%, 10 to 15% crop to stabilize. So I may not even have to use the gimbal. I will experiment. In fact, I'll experiment right now. Well, first, I have an experiment to do because I've been having some focus issues. So let's turn you around. Turn you back around and I'm still in focus. Okay, so this is on the gimbal, but now I'm really curious to see what will happen without the gimbal. So we're gonna do another little vlog walk here. First, we're gonna vlog walk back to where we started, back here in the dining room. And now the camera on the gimbal is sitting dead center pretty much in the table between here and there. Well, in fact, look, I have a camera over there pointed this way, so go look, I'll, I'll show you that view. Okay, now if I extend my arm straight out, okay, that's pretty much exactly where the camera is, right there, the length of my arm. Not bad, huh? Well, let me turn this little light back off. Okay, so now test number two, I'm gonna put it on the little uh, vlogging stick that comes from Sony and we'll go try that out. So now I have the A7C with the F1.8 20 millimeter lens on the little Sony vlogger kit. I, if, you saw, if you've watched the videos, it came with, I believe my, it came with my ZV-1. Let's go for a little walk. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm holding this, you know, out, not, not, I'm not extending my arm way out in front of me. It's just a little bit in front. Now I'm gonna come through the living room, which has skylights. So we'll get a little, it's, it's getting, it, there's, it's, it's a rainy day. Okay, but now we're in the backyard by the pool. And now this Sony thing has a button where you can push it and then the whole thing will swivel around. So, there we go. I have the microphone in omnidirectional so you should be able to hear me. Now I will flip it back around to me. There we go. Now, I'm going to, in post, run this through Catalyst Browse, the free Sony software that stabilizes. So while it may be a little jumpy as we're walking around out here. Okay, by the way, that's my hand, arm fully extended. Now, again, with the gimbal, this is a painful position to be in. But with this little lightweight, little selfie stick kind of thing from Sony, it's not at all hard. I mean, I wouldn't want to hold it forever. But you can see with this wide angle lens, I get a lot of uh, width here to my picture. 
but clearly not enough light <laughs> as we go back indoors. But now we'll come back in the living room again where we have the skylight, so we'll get some light back. And I, even on the little, the little screen I'm looking at, I can see that it's a little jerky, but I know because I've been playing, fooling around with the Catalyst Browse that this is going to uh, work out. So now we're back around, we're back in the dining room. I'm going to fold down the little legs on the tripod and set this down. Tilt it back just a little. There we go. Now I have the ZV E10 behind it also shooting this way. So I will show you that shot so you can see that the, this, the, the A7C is halfway between me and the ZV E10. The ZV E10 is on the far side of this table. This is dead center in the table, the A7C. So I think this would be a pretty good vlogging camera. And after you look at the footage and everything, you'll see with the Catalyst Browse, I may not even have to use the gimbal, which would make life a whole lot easier when I'm traveling. Because that gimbal, well, here, look at the size of this thing. Walking around with this, with the camera mounted on it, it's kind of a big deal that everybody's going to notice. But, again, I'll cut to this other angle so you can see walking around with this little guy. I mean, it's still very obvious that you're walking around with a camera pointed at yourself. But the gimbal makes it just a little... Now, again, see, it's a little shaky. But, again, I will run this through Catalyst Browse and show you how it looks. So... We now return to the unboxing review already in progress. Did I just come back from showing you some shots, some vlogging shots with this, with this lens? If so, what did you yes. think? This lens is pretty amazing. I'm very pleased with it. That there are a lot of videos you can go watch. There's there Sony has a, a G Master lens, the, the next step up from this, that's a like 24 millimeters and I think f1.2 instead of 1.8, but it costs like twice as much. And it's bigger and heavier. This is this lens is not a lot heavier. It's bigger than this lens, but it's not a lot heavier than this lens. I will, by the way, I'll put the specs of this lens and that lens, you know next to my head. Lens. I'm pretty pleased with this lens. I think there's going to be a lot of vlogging in my future. Well, maybe not a lot, but there will be vlogging in my future because I think this is the lens. So, you know, I promise you all a trip to Bucky's when next time I go to Texas. Well, maybe I'll be able to deliver now that I have this lens and this camera and this microphone. So it took me a, a while, but I have slowly accumulated the gear I need to do the kind of shooting I want. So that's it for this video. I have no idea what's coming next week. I, I'm, I think I, this one's probably being shot out of sequence, so I don't know. <laughs> it's in between other videos, so this is like a this is like an extra extra added attractions. So I can't tell you what's coming, but there'll be another video next week. So come back next week. Have a good time. Bye-bye.